Good morning and thank you for joining me on day five of lockdown now due to COVID-19. This is our fourth vlog today and I'm pleased to be sharing this week with you. Uh, the weather of outside of course is beautiful. Uh, yes, our obsession with the weather in Northern Ireland continues for those of you who aren't in Northern Ireland and it's, it's typical examination weather except we don't have any examinations. Uh, so I guess we're going to have to rename it lockdown weather. Now, I've received much comfort from verses of scripture that you have sent to me far in excess of anything that I have shared with you over the course of this week. And I want to thank you for all that you've sent to me, for the flowers that you see in the background, for the cards. I want to thank my own brother Trevor for sending me soda bread and chocolate. Uh, even though the girls tried to shortchange me in the chocolate, Trevor, but I did get it, and thank you. Now, I've been struck, as I'm sure you have too, over the course of this week, as we've been following the media and reading your texts, just how much fear there is out there. Those working in health and social care are particularly vulnerable, and I received a text from a nurse in our own congregation just yesterday, she works in the hospital and she described the fear that there is among staff as being palpable. And of course, the, act, the issue of the lack of personal protective equipment or PPE seems to be consistently on the news uh, and no doubt it adds to staff stress. So it's with all of you who work uh, on the front line, with all of you who work and health and social care today that I have you in particularly and you in particular in mind with these verses, uh, but also the rest of us we're all fearful uh, and we yearn for that peace that maybe we once knew to reign again once more in our minds. Now the dictionary definition of peace is a calmness and a quietness uh, with the absence of worry. Uh, now that is what we need, isn't it? Two verses today that I want to simply leave with you and in them we have God's PPE for the mind. The first is in Isaiah 26 verse 3 and it reads, Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. And then the second in Philippians 4 verse 7 and this is my favourite verse, And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We've got PPE here in the texts. That's perfect peace to experience. Let's ask ourselves some questions about this peace that God offers us. First of all, where does it come from? This isn't a peace that we can self-engineer. It's not a feeling because they can be fickle and fleeting as you know. It's not gained by meditation or yoga. No, this peace comes from God above. Something he possesses and he's willing to give it to us and it's something that we most definitely need. Uh, then this PPE, this peace, uh, what does it do? Well, it keeps and protects our minds on the strength of the verses that we've read. We're weak, we're vulnerable, we're prone to anxiety and stress and fear getting a real grip and hold of us. And even if we do feel at peace, we have to confess that it's often very temporary because some slight upset maybe comes and, and that peace is gone and we're in turmoil. This peace from God, it keeps uh, our minds and the strength of the words here in both texts is that it guards or garrisons or protects our minds from all worry. Then again, when, when does it come? When does this PPE get to us? When does this peace come to us? It, it comes when we place our faith in the Lord. This is a, a settled trust. It's a fixed or a stayed trust. A trust in God when times are good as well as when times are bad or adverse. We trust in God when we cannot see the way ahead and we understand uh, that he's in control even if we cannot understand why things happen the way that they do. Who delivers this peace, this PPE? 
And the answer is that it's delivered to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul says in Philippians 4 and 7 that it's through Christ Jesus. We have peace with God at salvation, but we know the peace of God keeping our minds from worry and fear through trust in his finished work. So as we said the other morning, we need to keep looking, looking unto Jesus, the one who delivers this peace for us and this so great salvation. I'm going to finish today by reading the words of the Lord Jesus Christ himself, as we find them in John chapter 14 and verse 27. And I pray that they will settle your mind today, especially if you find yourself in the midst of the grip of fear and anxiety. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, Christian, neither let it be afraid. I pray that God's word will be a blessing to your heart today as it has been to mine. And that this day, no matter what circumstances you find yourself in, you might know the hand of the Lord upon you. Do join me again tomorrow. Just two more days left. Tomorrow we're going to look at the mind of Christ. And we pray that the Lord will bless us in these remaining mornings. Thank you very much. Thank you.